Hello friends, my name is Akshay and you're watching Devotional Study. Today in Devotional Study, we're going to cover one small and basic topic about Firebase where I'm going to show you how you can publish your website in production environment using Firebase hosting plus how can you secure your sensitive information about your project. So let's get started. So friends, as I said, uh, so we are going to, first of all, I'm going to show you one project I have created uh, for my website. And it's, it's a basic website, it's a single page website, but I would like to show you how you can download the data and display it in your website. If you're doing it, uh, there is a step which we need to follow by which we can secure our data or our sensitive information plus how we can you know uh, host the website in a production environment so first of all i would go to the firebase uh, console and in the console uh, i would like to open the project right uh, and that is my website so i'll quickly open up the website for you as well uh, where so this is the project i will open up this project for you and here in this project i'll go to the hosting option and under hosting once i'll click on over here you know uh in hosting i have already hosted one web website all right one project i have hosted i have deployed here so you can see this is the web page i usually uh you know uh, share with my people and if they want to follow me so they can use this web page so it's a basic template it's not a, a very big template it's a very single uh, page website so here the the main thing i would like to show you so this is how the page is designed suppose right now i'm just using few uh, basic template here so if i am going to display some data which is there in my database within the firebase console if i'm displaying that data if i'm reading the data and displaying it over here so how can i secure that data so the one thing i would like to show you here uh, so i'll do one thing i'll just quickly open the same website in a local environment all right i have a web project ready here with me so i'll quickly go to the project here and uh, simply you know open the folder in the command prompt and i will run firebase serve so once i'll run firebase serve it will actually open up the website all right in a, a local environment so i'll just quickly open up here the same website all right so i would like to show you one small thing which you need to focus on so i'll quickly go to the console and in the console i will show you one thing first of all we will get this warning that it says uh, it seems like uh, we are using a development build of the firebase js sdk all right so this is this shows that we are still using a development development environment we are not on the production mode second thing which is the most important thing about the project if you're using this uh, config right cdn so you must have got this particular config here which will which is not good for you know your website or your project because it shows the api key and auth domain you know the sensitive information about your project so suppose you're on the production environment so you would not want this to be displayed to anyone who can hack into your system and then you know uh, anyway it's it's supported by google so it will be secure but you don't want to ch take chances so in order to avoid this particular behavior what we are going to do so both the things i would like to show you here so by doing one single step so this is the hosting thing, right? You need to go to the project overview and there's a setting icon and you just go to project settings. In the project settings, make sure if you're scrolling down, you as, as, you, as I've already used the web app, so you must be having this app added. If not, then you need to add the application here. Once you'll add the application, make sure you are linking the project or the Firebase hosting site to your project, right? If you're not, then you might not receive or might not get the SDK snippet option, the, the third one that, that was the automatic, right? So I'll just quickly select the devotional study project and link it 
to the SDK. Once I'll get it, you can see the third option is available. So let's focus on the other two options. This, these are the CDN and the config. So this is very sensitive information. You would not want anyone to, you know, see this information and access it, right? So we are not going to use this particular CDN. And one more thing, if you're going to use the new, uh, you know, version that is 7.8.1 and if you go back to my website in the console you will see there's the version i have added it's 5.0.0 so it's the older version that's the reason i'm getting this warning but if you replace this uh, url with the with the new url suppose if i am going to just copy this and go back to the project and you know simply just replace what i have here and uh, save it and reload the page. So what would happen next? I'll just quickly reload the local host. So this warning will not be there anymore, but the sensitive information as I was talking about, it would be still there, which is again, not right, right? So in order to tackle this particular thing, we are going to use this, this option automatic where we don't need to access everything, you know, not the config file, not the CDN. We just need to copy this and replace it with our code. So once we'll do that and reload the page, let me reload it. And after that, I will open the console. In the console, you will see the changes. So uh, there is no warning. It was even not there earlier. But the best thing about it, that you don't have the, the config information, the sensitive information anymore. It's because of this particular script we have added, you know, the, this particular script. So the best thing about this, you don't have to type or add all the uh, config, all, all the scripts. So, you know, if you go back to the Firebase document, there you will find more scripts in a similar way, uh, you need to replace this part. Make sure Firebase app is added. Other than that, if you are using, suppose Firebase database, so you need to add Firebase database separately. So it depends on what feature are you adding on your page, right? So I'll just quickly show you if you are getting a doubt about it. I'll just go to the docs, get started for web. Once you do that, uh, you need to scroll down. And once you scroll down, you just simply go uh, to this particular page. Here, this section shows you how you can use the CDN or the uh, hosting URL. So we need to use hosting URL if you're deploying it for our production ready environment, right? So here you can see if, suppose there is a requirement, I need to use the authentication on a single page, I need to add this script tag, right? And if you're, I, if I'm using database, then I need to replace it with, with Firebase hyphen database. So that's how you add this feature. Why? Because you don't want to display the sensitive information to the user. So make sure you're doing the same thing. And once you deploy it, you will not get any further issue with this. So I'll quickly show you how to deploy it as well. I'll just uh, simply stop uh, the server here, the local host. And then I will simply type Firebase deploy. All right. So, and if you want to be specific, so you can type only hosting, right? So once you do that, this would be uploaded and deployed in your Firebase hosting. And once it's been done, you will be good to go. So you can see uh, it's getting deployed. It won't take much time here. So you can see it's finalizing the version here, releasing a new version, and now we are ready. So we'll have to go to this URL. All right, so I'll just quickly, uh, or I just go back to the, yeah, this is the one. I just need to open it up because earlier there was some sensitive information there, right? So I quickly open the console again in order to show you now we don't have the sensitive information available anymore. You can see it's has, it has been released. Uh, you know, it, it's been deleted from, been removed from the, uh, from the code. Now, if you go back to 
to or uh, you know in order to add firebase database or any any kind of uh, information you can simply do that right so i hope you guys have liked the video if you have liked the video please do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon in order to get notified for the upcoming videos so thank you for watching guys you have a great day bye bye